Well, I apologize for the bad view, but that's the best I can do out here on the porch. And uh, it just happens to be nice enough to work out here, it's just above 40 degrees, so at least it ain't freezing. And uh, get some of this stuff out of the way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to carve this as best I can with the uh, I need a trash can. Be right back. Time to play with some clay. Just need to get a container to uh, hold the uh, foam as I cut it. I'm using a steak knife. And a saw. All right, now that I got the uh, thing formed, and I still may form it a little bit more, but I just need to get, get covered in clay because these little granules of uh, foam will get in the clay and it will come out and cause a problem with the surface of the clay as you work on it so I got to get that taken care of first and uh, getting rid of some of the uh, granules this takes time and it may be the only thing I get done today but I'm gonna do this This clay is really hard because I didn't turn on the uh, heat in the studio until just about a half hour ago. So even with a light above it, if it's cold in the studio, it's going to affect the clay. So it's not going on as easy as I'd like it to. But anyway, just keep on, keep on trucking. Love that song. <laughs> this is where your thumb gets really tired. All right, I'm going to have to come back after this clay gets softened up a little bit more. It's really hard. And it's hard to work on it's hard on my joints <laughs> pressing it into the clay into the foam I'm gonna turn that heat up in here and get it warm in here and that's what it's gonna take and it's gonna take at least an hour maybe two for that to work out so I'll be right back well I won't be right back but I'll be back never mind okay I took one of the pieces I cut off and I'm going to try to incorporate it into this uh, base and I'm going to have to do a little carving on it to do that
probably a big mistake. <laughs> Heater fan is going to be coming on every once in a while, but I got to have that or else the clay will get hard again. It doesn't get hard, it just gets stiff. I mean, when you get cold, you get stiff, right? <laughs> so, anyway. Nah, that doesn't work. Well, I've run out of soft clay. I think what I'm going to do is bring the horses over and maybe see what I can do about trying to figure out how I'm going to mount them on this. I'll fine tune the base before I'm done. Not today, but in the future, after I've got everything mounted and I figure out where I'm gonna put the sagebrush and I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that because sagebrush has a certain look about it. I kind of like the uh, feel of those two pieces that I added on because it, it makes it not so much like a shoe. I'm trying to figure out how to place these horses. Okay, that's the lead horse there. Yeah, I like the positioning there. Okay. 
carving here. Well, I really hate to give up on this piece, but I think I'm going to right now. I've lost the vision, I've lost the desire, and I've lost the music. If the piece ain't singing to you, it ain't working. And this piece ain't singing right now. And uh, it's monotone right now. <laughs> so I don't know if you understand that, but uh, that's the way it sometimes happens. And at some point, you just got to say, don't wear yourself out doing this piece because, quite honestly, you spent too friggin' much time on it, more than you should have. And quite honestly, I think I can still use this base. But I'm going to put everything aside and do something else to clear my mind and get me a, a new brain going on here. But I, I like the concept, but I may have to redo the whole thing. But I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to set this aside. This will be a project for maybe next year. Now I just made to utilize this armature I made a long time ago and uh, try something on this. I don't know. Right now I'm a little discouraged because it didn't work out the other piece didn't work out, and uh, <sighs> gotta take a take a day or so, relax, and gather my thoughts. There's always a possibility for something new, so it's not like my factory has ended or stopped or gone on strike. It just means it's being retooled, <laughs> so to speak. Think about this one. My uh, other drill died on me, and I can't find the charger for it. I know it's around here someplace, but uh, I gotta look for it. I don't know. I just might do something with this. Good night, everybody. See you when I get back. <laughs> I don't know when that's going to be. Hopefully this week, but uh, let's see how it works. Good night. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.